Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at a different way to calculate percentage yield. There are different ways to calculate percentage yield and you're best to use the one that you feel most comfortable with. There are two other videos that I have on calculating percentage yield. This one is similar to the method using moles, yeah, where we will use the moles equals mass divided by gram formula mass equation to be able to get our actual and theoretical yields. This is the equation for percentage yield, which you will find in the front of your data book. So percentage yield equals the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield multiplied by 100. So this gives you an idea of how effective your reaction is at producing the product that you want. It doesn't tell you how many byproducts you have or how green your reaction is in terms of atom economy, which is a separate calculation. Let's go through an example together to see how to calculate this using mass. So in this calculation, we're getting 10.2 grams of 1,2-dibromopropane produced. So 10.2 grams is our actual yield. We're producing that from 2.6 grams of propane, which we will use to calculate our theoretical yield. So first of all, we're going to calculate the gram formula mass of our product, 1,2-dipromopropane. And if we add all of that together, we get a gram formula mass of 201.8, which we'll need to use later on. We're also going to calculate the gram formula mass of propene. So the actual yield is 10.2 grams. We want to find out in grams what the theoretical yield should have been from the 2.6 grams of propene. So we're not using 2.6 grams as our, as our theoretical yield. We're using that to calculate our theoretical yield. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate the moles of propene that we've used. So moles of propene is going to be the mass of propene divided by the gram formula mass to give you 0 0.062. That then allows us to calculate the moles of 1,2-dibromopropane. So we have a 1 mole of reactant To one mole of product ratio here. So that means that if we've used 0 0.062 moles of our reactant, we should have produced 0 0.062 of the product. So we can now calculate the mass of the 1,2 dibromopropane that we should have produced in the reaction had it went 100% perfectly. So that's going to be moles, 0 0.062, multiplied by the gram formula mass that we calculated at the beginning. So we should have produced 12.5116 grams. We can now put that into the equation for percentage yield. So for the equation for percentage yield, we're going to have our actual divided by our theoretical, which is 12.5116. And we're going to times that by 100. And we should have a percentage yield of 81.5%. Pause the video now and try these two examples. So in this first example, we're working in kilograms. If we just ignore the kilograms just now and work it through as if it's in grams, we should end up with the same answer. So the first thing we're going to do is pick out our actual and theoretical parts. So our actual yield is 3 grams of ammonia. And we're going to use the 5 kilograms of nitrogen to calculate the theoretical yield. 
So we need to get the GFM of each of those first. So the GFM of ammonia is 17 and the GFM of nitrogen is 28. So using the GFM of nitrogen, we can work out how many moles of nitrogen we used. So we're going to take mass divided by gram formula mass to get 0 0.1786. In this case, we have a 1 mole of reactant to 2 moles of product ratio. That means we're going to need to multiply our moles of reactant that we actually used by 2 to be able to get the moles of product that we should have produced. So we should have produced 0 0.357 moles of uh, ammonia. That means we can work out what your theoretical mass of ammonia was. by doing moles times gram formula mass of ammonia this time. So we should have produced 6.07 and that's in kilograms. We're then going to take the, the actual mass, which is 3 divided by 6.07, times that all by 100, and you get a percentage yield of 49.4%. In the second example, we're making an ester. So we're making 50 grams of ethyl ethanoate, and we're making that from 46 grams of ethanol. So first of all, we'll work out the gram formula mass of ethyl ethanoate, which is 88, and the gram formula mass of ethanol is 46. 50 grams is our actual yield that we're going to use in mass. So we're going to work out how many moles of ethanol were used. So we're going to take the mass divided by the gram formula mass. So one whole mole of ethanol was used. We have a one to one ratio here. So one mole of ethanol should have produced one mole of our ester. That will allow us to calculate the mass of the ester that we should have produced. So we have one multiplied by the gram formula mass. So we should have produced 88 grams of the ester. Instead, we produced 10 grams. So for our percentage yield, we're going to do actual divided by theoretical times 100. So we produced 50 grams. We should have produced 88 grams. We're going to multiply that by 100 to get a percentage yield of 56.8%. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you find it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for regular updates on new videos and on Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for flashcards. Bye for now!